Darkness, previously titled The Origin, is a 2022 British horror thriller directed by Andrew Cumming in his feature-length debut. It stars Safia Oakley-Green, Chukumadu, and Kit Young. In the Stone Age, a desperate group of early humans band together in a search of a new land. But when they suspect a malevolent mystical being is hunting them down, the clan is forced to confront a danger they never envisioned. <laughs> So if you take the plot and synopsis on its face value, it's a little deceiving because this is not exactly a supernatural, you know, traditional type of horror movie. This is much more of an artsy, a little bit of a slow burn. There is action in it, so I'm not saying it's super slow, but it is a little bit and it takes its time. But this is a movie that's really about the setting, about history, about understanding our place as humans in history and the dangers that we confronted and faced. Because I love that it really takes on the idea of humans huddled around a fire and terrified of the dangers that lurked in the dark. It does an incredible job, I think, of putting you into that situation and making you understand what it must have been like. But with that being said, the visuals are great. It does get creepy. It is spooky. There is a real mystical kind of quality about it. But the story is still grounded in reality. So that's a little bit of a warning going in. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but just don't go into this expecting a big creature feature or, or something like that. It's not that type of movie. The cast do an incredible job in this, but especially Safia Oakley Brown, who really is the main figure that you follow through this story. But her range of emotion in this is just fantastic. And I've never seen her before, but I came away from this just being very impressed with her performance. But it's a pretty grim movie. It gets brutal. There's some absolutely savage, you know, gore in it. Not a ton of it, but when it does go there, it goes there, it doesn't hold back. And it is, it's pretty painful at times. But I just really loved the pacing of it, the way this movie looks. It is definitely an art first type of horror movie, which I absolutely love. But that's definitely not for everyone. So this is not one that the masses, I don't think, are really gonna get into. But if you love horror like I do, and you love the art of filmmaking, and the style and creative qualities about that, especially if you enjoy the slow burn, A24 type of horror movies, I think this is a fantastic one. And it also is a movie that I think is really one to see in theaters because just the way it looks, the sound design is really well done in this. You could just hear these things going on in the dark. And I think if you watch this at home, it just won't have quite that same impact as it does on the big screen. But this is a limited release. This isn't a huge wide release kind of movie. I know a lot of people, especially back east I've talked to, haven't been able to find it in a theater near them. I'm hoping that it expands. I'm hoping that it gets enough of a run that more people are able to see this in the theaters because I think it really has a magic and an impact that only seen it in a theater will really have. But if you're a fan of ancient history like I am and enjoy stuff on like the History Channel and all of that, I think that you'll appreciate this even more. There's an element of it that almost feels like a National Geographic produced movie, but yet with horror elements and it gets gory and definitely R-rated. I think it's really awesome in that way. I don't know if I've ever really seen anything exactly like this. And because of that, I loved it. I had a great time with it. And for such a simple story, it really gets you into it. It really keeps you invested and, and just waiting to see what's gonna happen next. And I think that's really impressive because there isn't a lot that happens in this movie. I mean, it really is this group of people on this journey trying to find a new place to live where they can find food and shelter and all of that. And they find themselves in this barren land that they're just terrified of because they don't know where they are. They don't know what exists there. And it's so interesting to me, that situation. And it just, that explorer mentality and just to think about what early man must have felt. I mean, now with us in the internet, it feels like there's almost nothing that we haven't seen or, or heard about. It just feels like there isn't a ton of mystery left. But this movie does a great job of capturing that feeling and putting you into this early man situation where they just don't know what's beyond the fire. And I found that to be just so entertaining. And one of the other real stars in this is the cinematography, the landscape, 
just the setting of where they are. I'm not exactly sure where this was shot. I'm gonna definitely look into that because it is amazingly gorgeous, but not just that, it feels so vast and so barren. And I just give the filmmakers big kudos for capturing that. It It's definitely somewhere up in the north, like, you know, towards Canada, uh, Alaska. It's it's definitely got that feel to it. At least that's what I would guess, you know, off the top of my head. It just felt like something like that is where it was shot. Could have been Greenland, who knows, but but that's where it felt like I've been personally and seen and, and recognized the landscape as feeling like that. But it just feels cold and you can feel their hunger. You can feel their fear. There's so many layers to what these people are going through and it does a really good job of, of putting you there, putting you into this situation. And I was the only one in the theater I was in. It's one of the rooms in the very back of this theater near me. And I was just all by myself in there. And that's always fun to be in a theater by yourself, especially watching a horror movie. But it was also kind of sad because there's this amazing piece of film art and there's no one there to see it. And it always breaks my heart. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, if you're into the artsy, a little bit slow burn, you know, art house type of horror, then this is one I highly, highly recommend, especially seeing it in a theater. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for checking this out. I hope you're having a great weekend. And like always, if you enjoyed this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and make sure to ding that little bell because that is the best way to keep track of this channel. And when I post videos like this, and I post videos like this every single week, I also want to give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to the Ghost Pirate crew, to you guys over on Patreon, and to the channel members over here. You guys absolutely mean the world to me. And if you would like to help support this channel over on Patreon, there's a link down in the description. Or if you want to become a channel member and help support the channel that way, there's a button right down there that says join. But like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. If you enjoyed this, click right here to watch me talk about my 10 favorite witch horror movies. And I'll see you guys next time.